people love Five Nights at Freddy's. Almost as much as people hate Five Nights at Freddy's. But I don't agree with the latter. I feel like the game goes really deep in terms of the plot line, and you may not be able to detect that when you first play the game, but the story goes deep. Most of you may know this, of course, but I feel as if the story goes so deep, in fact, that it would deserve a movie counterpart. I was actually thinking about this the other day and I was talking to my girlfriend about it, and we were just going back and forth about how a movie would work out and whatnot. And it's kind of funny because we get recent news now that there's apparently a movie which is being developed for Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I didn't read the article yet. I wanted to see my first time reaction with you guys, but you know, just talking about Five Nights at Freddy's and whatnot, the story has a lot of depth to it. A disturbing amount of detail goes into making that plot line. And I call it disturbing because it's not stuff, like I said before, which you pick up just by playing through the game one time. The story is disturbing and it's real. Well, well I mean, it, it has a real like feeling to it, you know? I mean, if you guys saw that game theory video where it kind of compared it to a real life event, which by the way, no disrespect to the people who did die in that event, but I mean, it did have a comparison video showing the likeness and whatnot. There's just so much speculation and anticipation that comes into this game series. And there's a lot of people that I know don't like the game, but even if you don't like playing it yourself, you gotta admit that it's a lot of fun watching other people play it. I don't like playing it myself, to be honest with you. I mean, the gameplay is a little bit repetitive after a certain amount of time, gets a little bit bland, and plus the jump scares after a while don't really mean much. And people don't like jump scares in general, but it is entertaining watching other people play it. But either way, we're here to talk about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which is apparently in development. Like I said, first time reaction in the article, let's see exactly what's going on here. So apparently there's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie in the works at Warner Brothers. That is actually pretty big. Now, when I mentioned this to my girlfriend, she said Warner Brothers may fuck it up, but there's so little, I mean, there's a lot that goes into a story like this, but there's so little in terms of the actual gameplay that it's kind of tough to mess it up, you know what I mean? You're just basically a nameless, faceless security guard sitting in an office just waiting for animatronics to come through. To be honest, I mean, I don't really see how they could fuck that up. Either way, Scott Cawthorn's wildly successful Five Nights at Freddy's could be coming to a movie theater near you, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Warner Bros. has picked up the rights to Five Nights with the intent to adapt the horror game series into a feature film. Producer Seth Blah 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 says that the filmmakers want to turn the indie horror game into an insane, terrifying, and weirdly adorable movie. Cawthorn is quoted as saying that he believes the story of Five Nights at Freddy's in which the player must survive and trapped in a Chuck E. Cheese-like pizza joint inhabited by murderous animatronic mascots really lends itself to being a movie. I, I feel the same way, Scott. I mean, some of you may think that it's a little bit strange for something like this to be adapted since the gameplay can be seen as a little bit shallow, but I feel like it can work so perfectly in a movie-like setting, you know? It has everything there. The ambiances in the game, the disturbing images from the animatronics definitely got that down packed. The only thing that I wonder about with a movie like this is where exactly it'll take place chronologically with the storyline, you know what I mean? But still, the idea of a movie for this game series works better than other series that I've been, you know, accustomed to. Like, like I mean, I don't know. I, I just feel like it'll really work. I, I really do. The original Five Nights was released on Steam in summer of 2014 and was later ported to Android and iOS. Cawthon followed up the original with a pair of sequels in just six months. Dude putting in work, man. Um, the game's been a breakout success on both PC and on mobile, and currently all three Five Nights games are on iTunes top 10 paid apps. Warner Bros. adaption to Five Nights is reportedly on the hunt for a writer. The studio is also developing a movie based on another runaway indie hit, Minecraft. You know what, and I heard about this too, that they're making a Minecraft movie which has like a storyline and whatnot. You gotta give props to Warner Brothers for putting their balls out there to make these things work. I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of get translated from internet to film that don't really make that well, but to be honest with you, I think Five Nights is the way to go. Minecraft, not so much. Um, but yeah, guys, um, this is actually pretty big news. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that this is a wildly popular series, so it kind of could be seen coming from a mile away, to be honest with you. I'm surprised we didn't hear anything about this movie being adapted to film, I mean, I mean excuse me, this game being adapted to film earlier, considering the incredible success of the first two games. It's a little bit odd that only now they decided, but I guess they were waiting for more games to kind of fill in those blanks. And three was a success in a lot of ways, so, I feel like this could definitely work. Call me just being a fanboy. I know a lot of people don't like it. It does have cheap scares, but the story is definitely there. And when it involves a purple man and the origins of the animatronics, it gets pretty damn disturbing. And considering that it does take place for the most part in the past, in like the 80s and whatnot, it just adds to that sense of mystique to the series. Like I said, I don't really enjoy the gameplay too much, but I definitely enjoy watching other people play it, the story. And if I enjoy watching other people play it, then I feel like I could definitely enjoy a movie adaptation. It could work out so perfectly. 
from what from whatever perspective that this movie is done from whether the movie takes place from the security guard standpoint or if it takes place from the phone guy standpoint or even the standpoint of an animatronic which is disturbing in itself either way this movie could be a, a very big success i think it could work out really well and plus there's not really much risk because you know people are going to pay to see it i mean i hope the movie isn't bad but even if it is bad they will have people that are lining up to buy tickets to that ding um, the release weekend. So, I mean, that's really not too much of a risk. I see it's working really well. And Warner Brothers, you know, I don't really, I don't know. I mean, their expertise when it comes to adapting games to movies, hit and miss sometimes. But I mean, hey, either way, I think it'll work out really nicely. But you got to let me know what you think of the comments. Do you really think Five Nights at Freddy's is going to make the translation to the film as easy as some other things have? Or is it just going to tank and die horribly? I don't know. I'll definitely need some opinions from you guys. Try to pull up some context clues as well, too. Try to pull up some evidence from other things like this as well. Um, some people will usually try to compare things like this to animes being made into movies, but it's not really the same. Gaming is a little bit different. And Five Nights at Freddy's, we can all say, is definitely a unique game in itself with a very odd, with, with, with a very odd, appealing, kind of twisted, demented thing to it. It's, it's hard to put it into words. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, Please have yourself a damn good one.